I will uh, always be ashamed, devastated by what I've done. According to Dad, I, uh, I tortured you. I said I wanted you to die, and then I, I tried to make you die. <laughs> yes, you did all that. You have to understand. Time stopped for me the day Nash was buried. You, you came to us and you said, I forgive you. I wasn't, I wasn't there to forgive you. Tess took over and, except for one brief moment. When you stopped her from poisoning us. Right. And then, uh, I just wasn't there. So, for me, Nash's death is still very new. And the pain I feel, it's, it's, it's as if, it's as if it, it just happened. And the anger and resentment I felt towards the two of you for your part in its accident, I still feel it. So if nothing's changed, what are we doing here? We have to be. When you, when Tess said that she forgave us, um, I believed it. I had my sister back, loving me, forgiving me. And then I realized that it was Tess and there was no forgiveness. And then everything that happened to Nash kind of all came back. Nothing had been resolved. Nothing had been healed. Just like everything was just stuck in time. Because you were stuck in time. So I, I get what you're saying. It's like the clock's just starting for us. And we're right back where we were, aren't we? Where were we were. What do I want, Tess? First of all, I want you to stop screaming. You did this. You did this, didn't you? You helped Jessica force her way out. Jessica's having her own angry feelings right now. She doesn't need you. So I'm locked back up in here? Unless you're needed again. Has anyone ever told you that your timing royally sucks? Has anyone ever told you you're more trouble than you're worth? Jessica doesn't want to know that there's anything wrong with her baby, okay? She wasn't crying. The baby's fine, I assure you. How the hell would you know how my baby is? I'm not hiding anything. Has an autopsy been done? Is there a report? Look, this is a terrible tragedy, and is I understand Is there why. an autopsy report? The various lab results haven't come back yet. These things take time, as I'm sure you're aware, Dr. Lord. Oh? Why would I be aware of that, or anything else for that matter? Nobody is sharing information with me. Do you know I wasn't allowed to step a foot into the morgue? Can you explain that to me? You're no longer on staff here. Therefore, you're not allowed to poke around in the morgue or anywhere else in this hospital. Poke this. I went to the NICU. They were a lot more forthcoming than you are being, and they said that my niece's baby never was admitted at any time to that unit. Now, can you explain why? Cole's mother? is alive. It's alive, oh my god. Does he know? Yeah. Does Cole know? Yes, he does. He does. Oh my gosh, he must be so excited and happy. <laughs> Okay, why aren't you happy, Mom? Is, this, is Cole's mom okay? Yeah, she survived the crash, and um, but she had some serious injuries. She had a head injury, and because of that, she lost all of her memories. So she doesn't remember anything that happened before the accident, and she she doesn't remember Cole. She doesn't remember her no. own son. No. He must be out of his mind. Yeah. To have his mom back after thinking that she was dead for so long, but then she doesn't even remember him. It's like he has her back, but he doesn't. How could something like that happen? Well, that's where your dad comes in. You said before that dad did something. Did he 
you do that to Marty. And I'm sorry. Because I didn't know who I was. Or who you were. I actually allowed myself to believe that I loved you. I tried to let you go. I told you to go. Oh, my God, you're not serious with this. I don't know what he's saying now is that if, if I'd taken his dare to leave when he told me he was too good for me, that all would be well? Is that it, Todd? It, it, it's really my fault for being a damn fool. I just wish you'd believe me. Believe you? You expect me to ever believe a word you say, you son of a bitch! I met my son Cole this morning. Cole, ring a bell? The son you never told me I had. I saw him this morning. He also said he wanted to kill me. I wish he had. I know it's what I deserve. Uh, no, no, no. You know what you deserve? It's a fate worse than death. And I'm gonna spend the rest of my life trying to figure out how to deliver that to you. Why do you want to get Rex involved? I couldn't do anything without talking to Brody's victim. Have you talked to Brody's sister, Nadine? Have you tried to reach her? She doesn't return my calls. I left her messages letting her know that Brody's about to be released from the VA hospital, but she doesn't seem to be interested. W w what happens when Brody leaves the hospital? Well, the DA will decide how to charge him. Will the Navy represent him? Nope. He's no longer enlisted. <sighs> well, if they're letting him leave the hospital, they must think he's competent to stand trial. Doesn't have the money to hire a lawyer. So I'm afraid he's gonna just get stuck with some overworked public defender. And if he does get convicted? Oh, he's looking at a long prison sentence. Look, if Brody needs money, I... No, look, that's not what I'm getting at. Then what? You're the one he shot. I came here to ask if you'd consider dropping the charges. Uh, I shouldn't have asked you to come. It's, uh, it's too soon. Well, maybe with some, uh... Time, this will get easier for all of us. Jared, I need a moment alone with Jess. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Glad you're back, Jessica. I, uh, I see uh, how much he loves you. Do you see how much I love you, Jess? You'll always have my heart. <laughs> You're my sister. And I'm gonna be there for you. We're gonna do this together. Do what? <laughs> You're ever gonna gain control over Tess for good. Can't do it alone. I'm the one that's aware of everything that goes on in Jessica's mind and everything in the real world. Well, bully for you, Bessie. I'm telling you, the baby is fine. I don't believe a word that you say. And don't give me that crap about how you know what goes on in the real world. You don't go out. All you do is hang around here in the dark, peering down your nose at us with those stupid glasses on like we're some kind of science experiment. I do what I have to do to be prepared in a crisis. Don't give me that. I'm the crisis manager. You don't even go out. Going out is vastly overrated. I have better ways to spend my time. Oh, really? Doing what? Look, I have a life. I carried a baby for months during a pregnancy. I watch it get born. Next time, go to a hospital. She wasn't crying. Maybe she had nothing to cry about. No, no, all babies cry when they're, when they're born. Any moron knows that. Maybe you passed out. No, no, I waited. I waited, I waited to hear her cry. I waited to hear something and there was nothing. There was no sound, nothing. So don't you just stand there and tell me that my baby is fine. 